Hey everybody, welcome back. I am home, I have passed. Now it's getting back into the swing of things again. So, I have one video for you, this one. I'm not sure when it'll go up, but we're gonna do it now. And I got a haul. My hubby made something for me for these, these littles. So let me put him on his little boppy that I made for him. I think I showed you guys that. So he has one. He's on, she's on the bigger one. I'm not sure what I did with her boppy. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. What happened to it? I don't know. Little stuff. But there's going to be a haul. Oh, it's not really a haul, but it's a everything that I have for them. I finally got two buckets out because it was getting confusing and separated all their clothes and stuff that I'm going to do, their items for them. So I separated them, and we are expecting. Yeehaw! I have no idea when it's going to be here. Sometime this month <clears throat> in May. So watch for that video. Watch for pictures and whatnot. Sorry I've been MIA on the community tab and on the everything. I'm just, I'm finally getting back. Monday will be, Monday the 1st will be my first week where everything is back to normal. Hopefully. <coughs> Hopefully it won't take me that long to get back to normal. Excuse me, we shall see. Hopefully not. So anyway, onward. These are the littles. We're going to see a lot of them here until the until we are expecting shows up so we are going to do some videos with them they're so stinking cute i didn't think i'd have so much fun <laughs> if you have not tried silicone or think you can't afford it or whatever you know what they are ivitas and i really i get everybody's gripe about it and everything and that's fine okay for those of us that don't have thousands and thousands of dollars and can't really save up like that, it would be 10 years before I could save up for that kind of doll. And actually, you know, I really don't know. After having Emmy, I mean, if you don't stay, it's like having a baby. You have to ch check them out. They get yucky, you know, and I am selling her. So she is over on eBay if somebody's interested in her. I am selling her and... So, I said, you know what, I miss, I miss Emmy, that's fine, but why don't I do something that's a little more reasonable, and it's not going to be taking up space, really, and it's not so much time, even though they are silicone, they still take time, um, the little girl has got to have a bath, she's sticky, he is not, I'm keeping him covered because I don't want cat hair all over him, and Daisy's domain is down here, and she likes to get everywhere and shedding and shaking and all that. And so there tends to be cat hair every once in a while. So I'm trying to keep them covered enough so we don't have any problems. Anyway, and hubby saw that I got those. He says, you don't have a crib for those. I said, well, I have my one that I got at the thrift store that I had for my 12-inch, my 10, 12-inch babies, micro preemie. And I still have it, but it's huge. I could fit both of them in it. So I can use it, you know, lay one one way, lay one another way. But me, I like to have boy girls, so it's, you know, I'm, I'm odd like that and want to, I have a knot in my hair. I just felt, ugh, okay. Ugh, all right. Ouch. So anyways, so he said, how big are they? They're six inch dolls, six and a half inch, something like that. They're affordable. <clears throat> I think they were both like $35 and I offered like 25 or 21. One was 21, one was 25, something like that. And they took it. So I have my little silicone babies. They don't come with anything. You know, they don't even have the little, sometimes you buy a Vita, they have those awful clothes that come with them. They didn't have nothing. <laughs> so, and the only place I've seen that has clothes for them is on Etsy. 
and it's expensive. It's like $16, $20, $25, $30, just for one outfit. I'm like, you know what? I really need to, I, I, you know, I'm handy, but I need to figure out how to modify like preemie clothes to fit these guys. So I'm still working on that. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So in the meantime, I've made the cloth diaper. I've got that pattern. I did order, and that's what one of these is, is I did order um, <coughs> diapers, three inch diapers. They look a lot bigger than three inch to me, but we'll see, because he doesn't have one on. So we're gonna try it on him when I, when I open this. So hubby said, how big are they? I said six inches. So he's good with math. He made me a teeny tiny crib. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has Ariel's writing on the bottom. He thought it would be cute to have, you know? So I have to paint it. I'm gonna paint it white. And I've got some foam because I want to, because it's kind of deep. So if I put him in here, you know, he's kind of, he's way down there, which isn't too bad, but I think I want to rise it up a little bit. So I'm going to get a piece of foam to put in there. So see if that helps, but I got to paint it now that I'm back to, what are you doing, Daisy? Now that I'm kind of back to, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? And um, I'm back to doing stuff. So hopefully, I'll figure. You know, we'll do a, we'll do a video, or whatever. I'm sure I'll do something. So anyway, he made me this little. He measured it down because six inches sort of fit a six inch baby. And this is for one of them. And I can use the other one. I'm tempted to have him make me another one for the little girl, you know, and I'm tempted. I don't think I'll ever sell these guys. I don't know. But uh, I would not send the crib. So I'm thinking about having him make me another one because this one has Ariel stuff on the bottom of it and I really don't. It's kind of sentimental now. So I don't know. We'll see. I tend to keep them for quite a while and then decide to sell them. So we'll have to, we'll have to see what happens. I don't know. I don't, have, right now, no, I'm having too much fun with them. I'm having a ball with them and I'm trying to figure out where hubby is, he's, he's supposed to be coming home. He took Ariel today because I had to work. I work Monday through Friday at the, uh, Saturday at the post office till noon. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 1.30 to six at my other job. So today he is, t he took her, excuse me, to, um, To go pick up his buddy's truck because it's broke and he wants him to try to figure out what's wrong with it so anyway long story short let's get on with this now this is from etsy um, um it's from california so it didn't come too far so and i guess she does a lot of um clothes and stuff and it's um Wobie babies, Wobie babies. And I got to go back onto her site and see what she has. Because I don't know if she has this little. But I really want, I'm wondering if I send her the stuff, if she'd make it for me and charge me. I don't know. I need a pattern. So I don't know. If she, and, and I don't care if she charges me. But I think I'm going to send her a message and say, hey, I have these t-shirts. I really want to fit these six inch babies and to see if she can make me a pattern, but also make those into it. So I'm going to find out. It doesn't hurt to ask, you know, and here is how it came. I already opened it, but I reclosed it. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. And let's see. Here they are, and I think they're all 
teeny tiny. They're Pampers. P3, 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 P3. So they're teeny tiny. This one has a bunny, a little bee, a bunny, a bunny, a bunny, a bee. So there's three bees and a two bunnies. So, and I think I had gotten these before. Let me see. They're right here. This one does not say. I think these ones are even smaller. Well, they're about the same size, I guess. So I have a couple now if I want to put them into a diaper, which we're going to do. I'm kind of got my back to you because he is anatomically correct and I don't want to get in trouble. So we will... He's so cute. I can't believe how talented these people are that make these dolls. I don't care if they're fake or real or what have you. See, I'm going to have to fold it down. Because it's going to go... Oh, I guess it goes the other way. All right. And he's so floppy. But if you fold him, if you fold it in and fold it down, so if you fold it in and fold it down, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Move your hand, buddy. It's going to cover everything up. <laughs> so, it's crisscross. Look at it. It's bigger than him. Look at that. So, you can fold it, fandangle it somehow, and fold it down so it fits him. It goes up to his belly. <clears throat> so, it does... They do work, but they're still too big. So, and I don't know if they'll... So, my best bet is to probably try to get um, cloth diapers, you know, the ones that I made, and just do a bunch of them, just get a bunch of fat quarters. They're 99 cents at Walmart. You know, get some boy ones, and get some little girl ones with flowers, and whatnot, you know, some stuff like that but I am going to message her I think to see if that's something that she could do I don't know how much she charged me for it so I don't know so that's all I got for you right now um I do have some stuff for him there's a blue one for the boy and then this one has more stuff in it because I got her first girls always have a lot more so and then I do have a basket going for the new baby that I'm putting stuff in and stuff. So, no clothes yet. Um, I think I'm going to dig through my clothes here because I've got some new ones I haven't even used yet to make like a box opening and stuff for that. So, and you guys like those. So, anyway, that's all I got for you right now. Um, hopefully, I'll get something else here soon. And, yeah, I appreciate all the love and support. And we will see you in the next video. Bye now.